हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर शनि कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर संजीव अग्रवाल ग्लोबल एजुकेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी भोपाल इन टूडे वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दर्म मल्चिंग व्हाट इज मल्चिंग मल्चिंग इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कवरिंग ऑफ सॉइल अराउंड द प्लांट विद एन ऑर्गेनिक और सिंथेटिक मटेरियल्स टू क्रिएट कॉन्जेनियल कंडीशन ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोथ डेवलपमेंट्स एंड इफिशियंट प्रोडक्शन The term mulch was first coined by Wagner in 1960. The word mulch was probably derived from the German word mulch, which means soft to decay. It has been referred to the gardener was use straw leaves as a soil cover. It is known as seed composting. What do mulch do? Mulch insulate and protect soil from drying and hard breaking effect caused by evaporation of water from soils. it break the force of rain and irrigation water thereby preventing soil compaction mulches it prevent splashing of mud and certain plant disease organism onto plant during or overhead irrigation the mulch is covering exclude light which prevent germination of weed seeds so favor weed provide less competition for using available moisture and nutrients objective of mulch the quality of food we eat Water we drink and air we breathe impact the well-being of all plant and animal lives. It determined by the quality of our top soils. The earth crucial thin layer of soil that is top soil must be protected, maintained and nourished. The restoration of soil health and addition of plant nutrient to soil can be done by mulching. Type of mulching. Mulching is mainly two types. First is organic mulch. And second is inorganic mulch. First of all, discuss inorganic mulch. The organic materials such as crop residues, farmyard manures, and byproduct of timber industries, when used for mulching, are known as organic mulch. They do not suppress weed, reduce crusting, and preserve moisture, but their gradual decomposition adds organic matter to the soils. Organic mulches help nutrients reach plant roots. they also present natural beneficial bacteria fungi insect and worms they do not create any post fertilization disposal problem but their availability is an issue type of organic mulches organic mulches is a different type first is a grass mulch grass has low carbon nitrogen ratio what is shear ratio shear ratio is a quick way to evaluate the balance between two elements present in the soil that are both essential for crop growth and microbial health grass mulch later on grass release nitrogen in the soil crops the nitrogen is promoting photosynthesis and external plants health second is a paddy straw mulch paddy straw has a unique property of not absorbing water so water is easily available to plants paddy straw mulch it introduce weed as well as create an environment for pests like slugs and rodents paddy straw mulch it has the longest life span among all the organic mulches third is just sawdust mulch sawdust is a small granular chips wood that is obtained as the finished product in the straw mills it has high shear ratio it require nitrogen from the soil for decomposition however it is retain the moisture for longer periods it is easy to apply and in expensive but it should be used in well rotten state for better results fourth is sugar cane trash mulch after removal of juice from the sugar cane the residue that is sugar cane trash is used for mulching sugar cane trash mulch it help to ride over the drought it is consume moisture and reduce weed growth this type of mulching should be avoided in area where the agent is in incidence of termites next is a synthetic mulches the inorganic materials such as plastic film when used for mulching are known as synthetic mulches or inorganic mulches natural degradation of organic mulches necessitates the application of synthetic mulches so they are also known as non degradable mulches synthetic mulches are available in different colors as well as in different thickness they should be removed and disposed of at the end of the growing season they are 
much expensive as compared to organic mulches. Type of synthetic mulches. Synthetic mulches is a different type. First is a white plastic mulch. White plastic mulch, it reflects more light to the plant as compared to black mulch. White plastic mulch, good for establishing crop under the hot summer conditions. White plastic mulch has little effect on the soil temperature. It keeps soil temperature down. White plastic mulch is a most important. It repels some insects. Second is a black plastic mulch. Black plastic mulch is the most predominating color mulch used in plant production. And it is act as a opaque black body absorber and radiator. Like plastic mulch, it absorbs most ultraviolet, visible, and infrared wavelength of incoming solar radiations. It does not allow sunlight to pass through the soil. It retards weed growth. And black plastic mulch, warm soil during winter season, and encourage plant growth. Third is a transparent plastic mulch. Transparent plastic mulch absorbs little solar radiation but transient only 85 to 95% of incoming solar radiations. Transparent plastic mulch drastically raises the soil temperature and affects the plant growth adversely. So it is often referred to as mini greenhouse effects. Transparent plastic mulch required herbicide to prevent weed growth under it. Transparent plastic mulch is also known as clear plastic mulch also. Fourth is just selective permeable mulch. Selective permeable mulch is also known as reflective or color plastic mulch. Selective permeable mulch allows only certain wavelength of light to pass through the mulch and warm the soil. Selective permeable mulch discharge feed growth. Furthermore, yellow plastic mulch repels white fly, which is spread leaf curl in Solanaceous family. Fifth is a photoselective plastic mulch. Photoselective plastic mulch is also known as infrared transmitting mulch. It transmits high proportion of solar infrared radiation. Photoselective plastic mulch warm the soil more than black plastic, but soil less than clear plastic. It is effective in reducing weed growth. Grab grown on the infrared transmitting mulch become ready to harvest with black plastic mulch. Next is a merit of mulches. Reduce evaporation, reduce weed growth, Reduce, reduce soil compaction, mulches management strategies, increase in plant growth, earlier harvest, frost protection, increase the soil temperature, and cleaner vegetable produce. We all about the merits of mulches. Next is a demerit of mulches. Great initial cost, removal and disposal of polythene, labor intensive, spirit of the disease, and increase crop breed competition is all about the demerits of mulches. Thank you.